we have a review today of the Suzuki King Quad 400 ASI. <clears throat> We're going to talk about things a little bit about it, things I like and things I don't like. And then we're going to take you out for a test drive on it, see how fast it can go. <clears throat> Let me just turn it on here. Now this was used when I got it. I'll bring it in here. It was used when I got it. But it ain't too bad. Pretty decent. All right. <clears throat> right now it's got 575 miles. Very low miles. Very low hour hours. 90.3. And it has a winch on the front also. What I wanted to get was um it didn't matter too much if it was automatic or had a clutch this one is automatic and I do like that you don't have to mess with the clutch or anything the only thing that is bad about that is is you can't pop a wheelies as good as with the clutch with this one it has to take some work to do man they got this because I wanted something to be able to plow in the winter for the driveways and I go deer hunting a lot so that's mainly the reason why I got it so I have one property that really can't be reach that good unless I go in through the back side. The, this is a single cylinder. It's a four stroke engine. The displacement is 376. It's got a fuel injected carburetor. <clears throat> the transmission type is CVT. In the front it's got the <clears throat> hydraulic disc brakes dual both wheels and the back has just got the drum the wheelbase is 50 uh, the fuel, fuel capacity is 4.2 gallons and it's got two wheel and four wheel drive I'll start it up real quick for you too and that's another thing I don't like is it only it only has the electric start on it uh, my next one I'm gonna have the electric start and a pull cord because if the electric start goes out, I'm done until I can get it fixed. Uh, it also did come with a plow, which I'm going to go and get that and hook that up real quick. And I can show you guys that. And also, it is air cooled, so it has a fan that will turn on after it gets too hot, which is a lot better than uh, liquid cooled. Because if you punch that reservoir and drain all your fluid out with a stick or something, you're done once it overheats. This one I don't have to worry about it. I go get the uh, I go get the plow and come back and show you guys what that looks like. Now we got the winch on, or the the plow onto the winch and with this one I really like the plow because uh, it actually hooks up to the frame underneath it so I know it's most of the work's going on the frame and not just on a single piece and <clears throat> the way you adjust it is either raise or lower the winch and that's how it'll work. Uh, other than that, I look forward to using that this winter. Maybe get some side jobs out of it. But uh, this is the package that I got all together. It was right this. It was right here. So it's been a pretty good four-wheeler so far. Haven't had any problems with it. 
Now oh, this is the complete package that I got for it. Um, I'll find more about this once uh, it starts to snow. But this is the whole package that I got together for it, and uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take this back off now. The ride test for you, and uh, see how fast we can hit it for you. Okay, well I don't know how the picture quality is on this because I had to rig it up a weird way. But I'll just take you around the yard for right now. And that's just around the yard. I'll get you guys hooked up on my body cam now so you guys can see how fast you really go. All right, now, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me or how well you'll be able to see on this. But uh, once I get up to speed, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna try to talk during this. Uh, once maybe once I get up to speed, you probably won't be able to hear me, but we'll talk about it after that, I guess.
the other reason why we got this. This little boy right here loves to ride. He's one and a half. He's my son, Talon. And he loves to ride. So anytime anybody's on this, he'll run out and he wants to get on it. Doesn't matter who, somebody he don't even know. Hey, Bubby. Alright guys, and that's it for this review of the Suzuki King Quad 400 ASI. It's the ASI model. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. I have I don't have any issues with it. Other than I gotta put some grease on the front wheels because they squeak a little bit. And this little boy right here, he loves it. Don't you, Tap Tap? Well, that's all for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, you liked it, give it a like, subscribe, comment. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.